Daphne Byrne, issue one. Uh, Laura Marks writing with Kelly Jones on the art. This is uh, another new number one from the Hill House Comics line of DC Black Label. Just to be confusing and have a label within a label. But, uh, you know, it all makes sense. Uh, this is... That... This is about a, a mother and daughter. The daughter being Daphne Byrne specifically, mm-hmm. uh, and the, the, the you know the father is out of the picture. He's died, uh, and the mother goes to a medium, um, mm-hmm. and we get a sense of the character of Daphne Byrne, and that she's a very cynical child who, when she's taken to the medium with her mother, basically as soon as they get outside, she's like, "That was bullshit." <laughs> yeah, because I made up that story, and they bought it hook, line, and sinker. Yep. Uh, plus. Regulus is not in Orion's belt. So when when she had said that, I was like, Regulus is not in Orion's belt. This is, and then you find out that oh no, that was yeah, that was her point. It's, but also, it's well, it's not that she is skeptical of like an afterlife of some sort. Yeah, she does but, visit but a father's grave and talk to him and hope. Yeah, and talks to him about what happened at, at school and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it's set in 1886. There's a lot of stuff with Daphne Burn at school, and she gets a lot of crap from uh, a school bully. Um, mm-hmm. uh, they, they make fun of her for like staring off out of space and all the rest of it. Now she is a bit creepy though. She does cut off the head of a doll, so I mean she does have a bit of a creepy kid yeah. vibe. And going. she's into geology. Yep, because she she's telling them cool facts about rocks, and you know when she's at her dad's grave, Sorry. she's like, "Oh, you're like see, check rocks. check check stick rocks." I, I've been telling Connor this. Cool <laughs> facts about rocks is never a sentence. Bull crap. <laughs> This is this is a limestone, cross. Limestone is is flipping dead crustaceans compressed into. <laughs> that's not cool. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, so they have this kind of say odds. Uh, Daft doesn't really believe it. It's a whole thing, um, and then the conclusion of the book. She has these like, nightmares where she goes. She's in the, the the graveyard with her father's grave, uh, and there's like spirits talking to her. Um, her father even, and she's kind of lured. It was kind of reminding me of Dollhouse Family. It kind of, it, it wasn't all that dissimilar to Dollhouse Family trying to lure the people out of the black room. You know, it felt kind of similar yeah, to that to not, me. Not as gripping. This is the first Hill House book that I'm kind of like, uh, okay. Yeah, I was. I, yeah. I, yeah, I wasn't super in love. With it. I mean, I didn't Which, dislike it either. It was kind of fine. No, I'm sure it'll read great in trade, and we have the full story, mm. right? But month to month, I don't know. Um, it feels properly creepy, like with, with that dream that she has and they go to the secret, you know, the group has a secret ritual and they make her kill the pig because it has to have a sacrifice. Yeah, in the dream, yeah. And then she wakes up in bed. The final page is her waking up in bed and she's got blood in her hands. Right. Um, um, which... But I, I remember when this book got announced, this is the one that was kind of like, okay, a cult, that's cool. But the name did not, yeah. Daphne Byrne did not move books to me you know like yeah. the other ones did i, I do also um, think there's kind of uh the, the last page with the blood in their hands i think there's also kind of a because because of her age i think there is meant to be kind of a, there could be a, a visual here or a, yeah. like a, a parallel to you know a girl having her first period like because she's yeah, in her bed if, and she's got blood in her hands i, I think there's right, meant if, well yeah too that's, uh, that's something i want to point out a problem with the art is that her age feels really inconsistent yeah sure. sometimes like, she looks like an eight-year-old she... And yeah, she looks. She she ranges anywhere between like ten and eighteen, uh, to, to my eyes, <laughs> in, in, this, in various panels in yeah, this book. And is this the same Kelly Jones that did those Batman's that I don't like with the long ass ears? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not a fan of the art. I just didn't know if it was a coincidence. It was the same Kelly Jones. Um, but uh, but no. I, and this, if her name was Rachel instead of Daphne, I'm like, oh, this is Victorian Raven, right? I'm getting Raven vibes, like. <laughs> Mm. Like the fact that like, you get the creepy guy that's like, oh no, she's chosen. Like I, I feel yeah. like that's Trigon, right? And he like, talks about oh yeah, because she has always my father here, and he goes, oh you know yeah. your real father is. Yeah, like I'm getting Raven vibes, huge. Which I'll I'll check out the second issue, right? It's Hill House, like, but I'm not that excited like I was after Lolo Woods, where we had the discussion that pulled me back in. Yeah, I, I think um, this is definitely the weakest of the, the books so far. I will say, though, I mean, I, I don't want to be too bad in the art, actually, because as well I agree that the age is inconsistent. I think um, it has a good tone. Yeah, I, th- I think I, I think yeah. it it fits the, the mood that it's going for, this book. I, I think immediately, like, those heavy shadows, like, those, you know, there's no there's no gradient to the shadows. It's these heavy, harsh, like, thick shadows really they, they, uh, fit They the... don't feel like they're shadows. They feel like they're solid. Yeah. yeah, I, think yeah, that yeah. Immediately... No, I get that. I just... 
Kelly Jones is it, again aren't subjective and whatnot. I don't dig it, but it does match the book. You know, I just yeah, the age yeah. was all over the place too. I was don't like, get me wrong. If she, you, she, she, I mean, Kelly Jones, it's, it's a nineties style. It looks very nineties. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't hate the art at all. I say I think the the only thing I really dislike is the the inconsistent look of the age. Um, mm-hmm. The rest of it, I think, really suits the book. Uh, it's it's got a, a great mood to it. Um, like even like you know the, the big thick lips with all the heavy shadows on the lips, you know, works in this book. Mm. It's uh yeah, and also it was actually quite quite a quick read. It wasn't overly I very a, brisk. I had to wait. Yeah, I had to wait uh, to give my dog her medicine because we have to keep it in a cycle before I went to the movies last night. This was a nice kill time. I read it real quick uh, before I gave it Augur Medicine. So I was glad I didn't have to put it back down and then pick it back up before mm. I went to the movies. It, you mm. know, so speedy read. So again, I'm going to check out the second issue. The second issue is more of, of this where it feels, you know, I might just wait till it's done and listen to what you guys, if you guys keep going. Um, which sucks because I, I want to support Hell House as much as I can. Um, yeah, but like, I mean, so far this is the only one out of this is the fourth yeah. one, I think. Fourth, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and we've been really in on all the rest. Yeah, of them, well, so. I mean, that's pretty much it, I think, for this book. So I think we can yeah, re- okay. read it. Cool. Uh, what are you giving it, Matt? I'm gonna give it a seven. Connor, six. Yeah, I'll give it a six. Uh, so... All right, then five point five because I gotta go lower than you guys. <laughs>